Alright guys, how's it going? Ebosvox here, and I wanted to discuss a couple things. I have to run into work, but I want to get a video up this weekend and discuss a couple things regarding the Pokemon X and Y news and the info I've put out and the info the feedback you all have given and things like that. First of all, Sudowoodo is a rock type. Yes, I know. Thank you. I misspoke. I was talking really fast. I was probably about to go to work again. And I was probably very exhausted and I said it was grass and rock type. Because it's a tree. But it's obviously a rock type. Stop yelling at me, please. <laughs> Moving on. There's actually a couple things that were pointed out that... Excuse me. That, that were actually updated for Pokemon X and Y that everybody just kind of completely missed. So I want to point it out right now. I'm going to pull up my screen here, actually. And there we go. Photo spots. You basically have Pokemon Snap inside of Pokemon X and Y. It says you'll see all kinds of beautiful scenery and locations during your adventures in Pokemon X and Y. Take beautiful photos of these fantastic views. Just like a real camera, you'll be able to adjust the aperture, shutter speed, brightness, and other features to dial in the perfect shot. And it shows taking a picture of the main characters. And then that one actually has the background kind of blurred out for like a lens blur, which makes sense. And then you do have all sorts of camera controls. And you get to take pictures, like in freaking Pokemon Snap. You get and there it shows you actually adjusting the depth of field, so you can either focus in on the background or on your player. And that's just freaking awesome and crazy. And nobody really, I have yet to see anyone mention that besides one small post on Reddit. But nobody's really given that attention, and that is freaking awesome. I'm hoping you get to take pictures of Pokemon in the wild, things like that as well. I'm really excited for that. That'll be a, you know, just a small thing, but a good thing to have in there. Then some other information, which I did mention in a previous video, but we can now jump over ledges using mountable Pokemon. Obviously, Go Go being the main one, but there are others. And people are hoping like Arcanine and stuff like that will be mountable as well. But you can jump across ledges, which means no more taking long routes as long as you're mounting a Pokemon. Um, then the Mega Forms, obviously, a lot of people are talking about some sort of crossover with Digimon. I find that highly unlikely. They probably just... <laughs> How many names for an evolution can you honestly come up with? They... Honestly, like... Digimon is no longer relevant, if we're honest here. Digimon has not existed, pretty much, in mainstream culture or pop culture, even for anime or kids, in a very long time. And frankly, the kids who are going to be playing Pokemon X and Y probably have no idea what the hell Digimon is, other than jokes they've seen on the internet. So, Pokemon is not exactly trying to steal something from Digimon here. It's just an adaptation of the gameplay style, because every series, everybody complain, you know, there may be Gen 1ers for Pokemon, but... There's people like me who don't like the new changes, the Yu-Gi-Oh, and there's, you know, everything that's, it even applies to music and TV shows. Anything you had as a kid, you're not going to like how it is in modern times when it changes. But in order for a series, especially one that's actually starting to die off a little bit, like Pokemon, in order for it to succeed, it has to make changes. So while everybody's complaining, oh, these new mega evolutions are ruining the game, they're doing what they have to do to stay alive. If you don't like it, so be it. Go play one of the older games still, go play some ROM hacks, do whatever. But as far as, you know, keeping the series alive, this is going to be just fine. And yes, there's going to be a lot of us who started in Gen 1 who five or so years down the road are not going to have a single clue what the heck the kids are talking about in terms of Pokemon, just like me with Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment. That <laughs> Your one sale is not representative of the thousands more they'll be able to keep bringing in if they make changes. So, I'm sorry if you don't like it, but you're pretty much going to have to deal with it. Now, Cerebi.net also updated the um, super training? Yeah, the super training that was only briefly mentioned in the time frame of the previous videos going up. Excuse me. Uh, super training, or ST, is being introduced in Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, allowing players to help their Pokemon grow stronger when they're not in battle. On the touchscreen in the Nintendo 3DS system, players can have their Pokemon participate in super training. Activities that will increase a Pokemon's EVs, the underlying values that de define its HP attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed stats. One super training activity involves having Pokemon trained by facing a huge Pokemon-shaped balloon bots in virtual space. 
So basically like little mini games to boost your EVs and that is really cool. Uh, metagame actually ends up being very important to your Pokemon experience overall. The EVs actually felt affect how well your Pokemon does in battle even if you're not doing you know competitive multiplayer blah 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 games you still you know the the EVs and IVs are still pretty important and I really like this because for the most part there's never been official sources like oh hey if you want to train this EV you can go here I don't even think that's been in the official Prima guides I could be wrong because I haven't had them since like Ruby and Sapphire but for the most part that's just information you have to look up online and hope that it's right and this is a way for people who don't feel like you know for people who don't want to do a whole lot of metagame stuff can still tr you know train and manipulate their EVs and get a pretty decent Pokemon that they can battle with and this is especially good for those who are you know if you're strictly playing on a 3DS you're not gonna be able to especially if you're out and about or whatever you're not gonna be able to look up EV locations and blah 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 you just want to battle and play the game and this is also really good because there's all there's always a disconnect between you know people refer to now your story mode team and your battle team and that's an issue I had with Poke MMO is you know, I was trying to do competitive battling with my team that I raised through story mode, and the EVs are already out of whack and stuff like this. This allows you to, you know, have your story team and potentially keep it within competitive range without, you know, without having to make a whole separate team and waste all the time with that. So I'm really looking forward to it. And then regarding the Mega Evolutions, in case you didn't get it from the other videos or whatever it is confirmed to be a temporary evolution that can only occur in battle so it's basically just like a brief transformation you know it's basically like swords dance or something but a bit more drastic just a quick transformation yes digivolve whatever use the mega stone go into mega form get some extra stats to do some more battle damage and then at the end of the battle it goes back to normal mode and then people are mad that blaziken gets it I don't know why. To me, Blaziken's a pretty cool Pokemon. They're obviously not giving it to every Pokemon, and they're obviously not going to give it to every single starter because that would be ridiculous. And I'd be willing to bet that you don't get every single starter in this game. We're just getting Torchic because they picked one. So, Game Freak are allowing us to get a firefighting starter without making the main fire starter firefighting. So, essentially, since we're getting a Torchic right off the bat, I'm not picking the fire starter anyway. So, I'm going to pick with the water or grass. And then we get an extra Blaziken, and then the rest of the Mega Stones you find in game. The Torchic Mega Stone is apparently, or Blaziken, Blazikenite is only available from the event. But yeah, just wanted to kind of clear some stuff up with you guys, um, and then bring up, like I said, the Pokemon Snap photo spot thingies. That's gonna be really cool. Oh, and then one more thing is we have a screenshot of what appears to be, um, like Pokemon stat information showing, um, kind of like from the other games. Potentially a user interface leak. We don't know 100% if this is real or not, but thought I'd share that with you guys. Also, I just want to add that Pokemon, the official Pokemon Facebook page, has just announced that Mr. Masuda took the stage at the opening ceremony and revealed Mega Kangaskhan for Pokemon X and Pokemon Y in a World Championships exclusive video. The um, game battling as well as the trading card battling World Championships is going on right now. And apparently they released an exclusive video showing off Mega Kangaskhan. So we should probably get that in a few weeks on the YouTube. But for right now, we just know that that's on the list. Thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know what you're looking forward to most out of Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Comment, like, subscribe. See ya.